Hello, I'm Michael with Writer Sanctuary, and today I'm going to talk about text brokers' price increase and what it means for authors. So this morning, text broker announced a new price increase for 2019. It's the first time they've had a price increase since 2013, and it could be a boon for some authors. What it means is that all authors, regardless of level, are going to make a little bit of extra money on direct and team orders. To an extent. So what does this price increase include? Unfortunately, this price increase doesn't really do anything for those who pick up orders from the open pool. Although clients will see a slight increase when they post orders in the open pool, it doesn't look like any of that money is going to come to the authors. Which is a bummer really, because a lot of authors will use the open pool as a primary form of income. I know I pulled a lot of orders from the open pool, and I still do today. It would have been nice if Text Broker would have given a little bit of love to the authors who pull from the open pool and share the wealth. But that's the sad state of business today. On the upside though, the minimum amount for Text Broker teams and direct orders will increase for everybody. For instance, instead of the 1.56 cents per word that teams have for their minimum, you'll get 0.195 cents more per word after the increase takes effect in April. Now this would be more impressive if I already didn't make so much on teams anyway. I mean, most of the teams I belong to already pay me 1.955 cents per word to begin with. According to the blog post and the email that I got from Text Broker, authors will also get an extra 2 cents per word for direct orders minimum. Now this could be quite beneficial for those of us who are really good at getting direct order clients to begin with. This means your minimum direct order will be 3.78 cents per word. Now I'm a bit concerned about the two cents a word because it doesn't really fit the rest of the whole schematic for what Textbroker has for its price increase. I mean, two cents a word is an incredible amount to jump up, especially since everything else is at either 0.2 or 0.3 cents. Personally, I think the email and the web page are using typos. Although I sincerely hope that this isn't the case, I'm pretty sure the Textbroker meant 0.2 cents per word increase for direct orders. But we won't know for sure until either they respond or after April. Now I know that 0.2 cents per word doesn't really sound like a lot of money. But consider this. This means you'll make an extra $2 for every 1,000 words that you write. Now for me, I average around 1,000 words an hour anyway. This means I'll be getting an increase of about $2 an hour. Of course, that's only for teams and direct orders. And if you're able to pump out for 8 hours a day, that's an extra 16 bucks. The biggest downside to all of this, though, is how it affects the minimum for direct orders and teams. For the most part, many authors probably won't even notice a difference. It only affects the minimum amounts that clients have to pay in order to hire an author. If you're like me and you already have a high per word for direct orders anyway, then it doesn't really make much of a difference. Even if it was two cents a word, that's still pretty close to what I charge anyway. And if you're already on teams that pay more than 1.755 cents a word, you're not really going to see much of an increase in pay anyway. However, I am on several teams that are at the minimum, so the 1.56 cents is what it is now. A lot of those teams are going to be grandfathered in until September, so I won't be able to get an increase in pay from them until after that. So after the grandfather clause in September, a lot of those teams will be giving you quite a bit more money. In the grand scheme of things, the only ones who are really going to be affected by this price increase are going to be the clients. That's because they're going to have to pay more for all three open teams and direct orders. And as many clients are looking for the cheapest help possible, they're probably going to wind up going to some of the other systems that are out on the internet. Luckily, existing clients won't see any effect on their how much they pay until after September 4th. But this might affect how clients view the text broker system. Now, there's too many people out there who want to pay as little as humanly possible to get content for whatever purpose they need. This is one of the biggest drawbacks to using content mills of any kind, because this often puts the authors at a severe disadvantage. They expect you to provide the utmost highest quality you can for the lowest money possible. But don't get me wrong, I love text broker, I love content mills. When you're a beginning freelance writer, these kind of systems are great for getting experience and learning how everything works. Unfortunately, there's too many clients out there who try to squeeze as much as humanly possible out of you. Of course, you kind of see that in freelance writing in general. I mean, that's the one of the biggest rules of business is to get as much as you can whilst paying as little as possible. I did it when I ran the computer center. I did it when I ran the liquor store. For me, I view how much I make compared to how much effort I put in throughout the day. If I can't make as much as at least flipping burgers at McDonald's or going being a cashier at Safeway, then it's really not worth the effort. And this is why a lot of freelance writers don't like content mills. It's why people think that they are worth more than they are getting paid. And for the most part, it's true. 
But if you don't have any clients lined up, a content mill serves a purpose by getting you some kind of money coming in throughout the week. Because until you get a client like the one I have right now, then you need that support system to be able to keep working. So in the freelance writing world, content mills do serve a purpose. And on the upside, I have no doubt that there's a lot of clients on Textbroker that'll happily pay the increase. Usually because a lot of these clients already pay more than that anyway. This is especially true for clients who have Textbroker authors that they really don't want to lose and that they completely love. So in a nutshell, don't get too overly excited about the pay increase from Textbroker. Like I said, a lot of us are already surpassed that amount that they're offering anyway between teams and direct orders. However, this might help some of the newer authors who are trying to find their pace. It'll put a little bit extra money in your pocket. Overall, this increase is more about how much clients are going to pay and how much more money Textbroker is going to make. While I am disappointed that Textbroker doesn't take better care of its authors, I do understand it from a business perspective. Now, if it was me, I would have passed on some of the money coming in from the open orders to the authors, such as if a pay increase was 0.3 cents, I'd give the authors 0.1 of it. At any rate, I truly hope that this doesn't scare away a lot of clients, which I don't think it's going to. Now, I doubt that Textbroker will lose clients in droves because of this increase. But you can bet there's going to be a few that are going to be leaving because it's just too much for them to pay. But if you think about it, those clients you don't want to pay you for what you're worth aren't really clients you want to work for anyway. In my experience, it's been the ones who nickel and dime you to death that wind up being the worst clients. So what do you think about the textbooker pay increase and do you think it's going to affect your workload and your payout at the end of the week? Leave in the comments down below. Personally, I don't see it affecting my workload at all. Like I said, the teams, the direct orders that I have anyway are already way past the amounts that Textbroker is offering for the minimum. So this really isn't going to affect me. Would have been nice if the open orders would have had a little bit more money to them, but... But if you find the video informative, hit the like button. If you want to learn more about Textbroker, freelance writing, Wattpad, or WordPress, hit the subscribe button, and make sure you turn on the notification bell. I usually try to create videos every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday if I'm able. But I think that's going to do it for me today. I'll see you tomorrow.